We welcome everyone to this October. This is a regular meeting and all items that will be discussed have been duly posted. While this is a meeting in public, it is not a meeting of the public. If you wish to speak, please register in the lobby on the audience for guest form and follow the information on the speaker form. The board's role is to set goals, approve personnel and budgets, make policy and provide oversight. We are not here to manage or solve individual problems. Management is a responsibility of the superintendent. As a board, we believe that we must educate every child, provide every child the greatest opportunity to learn, and maintain a safe and secure environment mentally, physically, emotionally, and academically. And these are our core values. We appreciate your interest in the students of CISD. Okay. Now, we're going to ask members of the CHS varsity tennis team and the seniors, Isaac Owen, Ashley Butron, Joshua Monroy, Isaac Rodriguez, to come lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank y'all very much. Y'all can stay up here if you want to. Yeah. Oh, the invocation. We got an invocation. Okay. Um, we're going to ask Raj Kripalani from Northside Baptist Church to lead us in a quick prayer. Sure. Lord and God, only wise God, you who give every good and perfect thing, thank you. Thank you for the schools you've given us. Thank you for the children in this community. Thank you for this board and your service. Please give insight, direction, understanding, we ask. And we just commit it. Thank you. Amen. Y'all can stay up here. <laughs> you ready? Now the superintendent's report. Well, we are going to begin the superintendent's report by honoring our tennis team. Will the other members of the team join the seniors up at the front of the boardroom? Um, first, I want you to know how very proud we are of you, of your successes this season. And we want you to know that the truth of the matter is you have had success for so many seasons that we kind of expect it now. We have, we have very high expectations of our tennis team and you certainly um, never ever let us down. Coach White, thank you to you, to the other coaches and thank you to all the players for your hard work. Um, this year, our Tigers were ranked 15th in the state of Texas. <laughs> and made it to the regional semifinals where they lost to the first place ranked Frisco Centennial just last week. You finished 19-3 in the year, and we just want to congratulate each one of you on an outstanding season. And thank you so much for representing the Tigers and for doing such a great job and for working hard. Thank you. <laughs> Coach White, is there anything you'd like to say about your team?
Continuing on with the superintendent's report, this week is Red Ribbon Week. And it's a time when we educate our students on the dangers of illegal drugs. This year's theme is Be Kind to Your Mind, Live Drug Free. And each day the students have a certain um, attire that they wear. Today was red. And if you check our website, you can see the other theme days and what they are for our students to wear to school for Red Ribbon Week. Our high school band competed at the UIL marching competition on the 14th at Midway High. They earned an excellent rating, so congratulations to them. This, band, this year's band performance was a little bit different. It was a crude awakening, and it was in honor and celebration of the city of Corsicana's 175th anniversary. It was a play on words because of the oil boom in Corsicana, so that's where the title and the inspiration came from for, um, for our band's halftime show. So congratulations to our band. Our cross-country boys team competed this morning in Grand Prairie at the regional meet. Um, about a few weeks ago, they finished third in district. So congratulations to Coach Rodriguez, his staff, and all of our runners. Um, our team just gets stronger and stronger each year. So we truly do appreciate our students' hard work and our coaches' um, expertise and hard work as well. This year's um, yearbook staff was recently recognized by the publisher of the yearbook, Waltzworth. Um, publishes more than 100,000, I'm sorry, not 100, I exaggerated just a little, 10,000, but that's still a lot, high school yearbooks nationwide. Our staff earned the Gallery of Excellence rating, for which is reserved for the top 2% of schools um, nationwide. So we appreciate our yearbook staff. We will look forward to seeing their hard work when our yearbooks come out in the spring. And this is a recognition they've received for the last seven years. So congratulations to them and to um, Jonathan Dixon, who is their, um, their leader. This Thursday, October 26, our communications team is going to test our new mass communication system. It's been in place since September, and this test is for parents to make sure that they're receiving notifications. So if you haven't already, please update your information on the Skyward Family Access Portal. If you have trouble doing this, please just call your students, your school's PEAM secretary, and they will assist you in making sure that your information is up to date and complete. So the test is scheduled for noon on October 26th. Nothing is wrong. It is a test. Sure it is merely a test. Sure the aliens aren't going to come? The aliens will not be coming. There will be no aliens. There will be no Halloween costumes. There will be nothing like that. It's just a test. Um, on November 3rd, we are honored to welcome the members of the 1963 state championship football team. They'll be coming to our game at Tiger Field for the final home game. We want to honor those players um, for their title from 60 years ago. We look forward to seeing them and from hearing their many stories. Um, October is National Principals Month. Um, I am very, very fortunate to have such an outstanding group of leaders for our campuses and to be a superintendent of principals who know what they're doing, but most important, they know why they're doing it. So we appreciate our principals. Um, they never know what their day will be like from one moment to the next, and no two days are the same. So we just appreciate them. We appreciate their leadership and all that they do for our students. I want to remind parents and students that snapshot day, which means is the day that we count our students and we turn everybody in to TEA um, is this Friday and so it's based on our current enrollment so we encourage our students to come to school each and every day um, as well as this Friday for snapshot day thank you thank you dr. frost we're going to go into closed session uh, for just a few minutes as permitted by Texas Government Code 551.01. We'll be right back.
right. Thank you very much. We're returning from closed session. We have some discussion action items. And number one's a new police officer. So we just, so we have a, we have a potential for a new police officer that we were we've been told about. So the president said, um, I I make the motion that we nominate Martin Garay as a Quest County IC police officer. I second. Okay, there's a motion and a second to hire Martin Garay as the new police officer for Corsicana ISD. All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. The ayes have it, and we have now hired Mr. Martin Garay. Welcome, sir. Welcome. welcome. Mr. Garay, we are very honored that you are choosing to come to Corsicana. We look forward to working with you, and most of all, we look forward to our students getting to know you and that's really the philosophy behind our police department is that they are here to to serve our students and our staff and we we have a great police department so you are joining an outstanding group of people so welcome to corsicana and thank you for your interest in working here all right the quarterly budget report
I have any questions for Brian? All right. Thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. All right. Moving on to the consent agenda. I'll entertain a motion. I make a motion to accept the consent agenda. Second. second. I have a motion and a second to approve the consent agenda. All those in favor, say aye. Aye. All those opposed, say no. Ayes have it. We've approved the consent agenda. So we have a couple of audience for guests. Okay. And I'm going to read read your names. Uh, and, and I'm sorry if I butcher your name. Is it Saray Curry? And then we got a Celeste. Is it Woolard? I've got something to read to both of you before we get started, and then we'll I'll tell you when you can when you can go. The CISD Board of Trustees encourages comments about the district from citizens of the district, from district employees, or from members of the public. Anyone wishing to speak may do so at this time. The board asks that each participant's comments pertain to public education. It be no longer than three minutes per person. The board also respectfully requests the speaker refrain from mentioning other students or parent and staff members' names when addressing their concerns. Under the Texas Open Meetings Act, the board is not permitted to discuss or act upon any issues that are not posted on the agenda for tonight's meeting. This means that the board members are unable to deliberate, ask questions, provide you with a response, or take any action relating to your comments. If an issue mentioned is listed on tonight's agenda, the board's deliberation of the issue will be deferred until the appropriate time during the meeting. In addition, the board has adopted complaint policies that are des designed to secure at the lowest administrative level a prompt and equitable resolution of complaints and concerns. Complaints brought by employees, students, or parents may be brought in accordance with our local school board policy. Each of these processes provide that if a resolution cannot be achieved administratively, the person may appeal the administrative decision to the board as properly posted agenda item. Cop copies of our district policy on public participation in meetings and filing complaints can be found on our website. If you need assistance with these policies or processes, please call Merrill Harrison in the superintendent's office. Okay, I'm going to ask... Before you go, I'm, okay. I'm going to ask Miss Kelly. No, it's not. It's okay. She needs batteries. We want to hear you. Yeah. Sit right here. Hey, she could just come sit. Hey, Raymond, do you want to let her sit? Oh, never mind. I was going to say she could sit right here and we could just turn this one on. Back up. These were in a separate section. Mm -hmm. yeah. Chunks them in trash. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. working all right so miss Kelly is going to be your three minute timer she'll tell you when you're down to one minute but she won't stop you she'll just tell you okay all right when you speak start speaking we'll start the timer okay okay <laughs> okay good good evening everybody so my name is Saray Curry and I am a current junior at um, CHS and I am the spirit and culture chairman for student council in my position it is my responsibility to connect the um, can I hold the mic it is my responsibility to connect the student body and increase the sense of pride in our school 
And I've noticed, I've tried with pep rallies, and you know, my um, job is um, coming up with pep rallies, um, managing a bonfire, all kind of fun events. And I'm thinking, you know, why aren't students involved, involved and why aren't students eager to participate, especially our freshmen? And a big thing that I didn't get quite wrap my head around, but a big thing that everybody obviously can tell is the look of our school. And although it might not to a lot of people be a big um, impact or think y'all might think that's not a big impact, but it is because 85% of students reported a discomfort in the restrooms when using them, and almost a half of them um, rated uh, the restrooms a one out of 10. This is not acceptable. I don't think anybody, I don't, I'm pretty sure if y'all had a choice to use any bathroom, y'all wouldn't use CHS bathrooms because they're awful. Um, a lot of them are under maintained. Um, this is not just a matter of basic hygiene, this is a matter of the comfort and well being of students, and it's outrageous. The next um, thing I want to talk about is the, just the appearance of the school. Um, a third of the students rated the school's aesthetics a five out of 10, not no higher than that. It was a few people that rated higher than that, but that's it. Um, a lot of it is due to the blank walls. I don't understand why we aren't allowed as students to have posters or paint the walls or maybe paint a mural or something to give the, the school some color or some, some sense of like pride or just a, some brightness to it. There, there's nothing. Um, another thing is just the, just the classrooms, like overall having a modern school, you come from the middle school, which is newly built. I understand a bomb was passed and a lot of things was happening to get that done. But the high school, I feel like just because we didn't pass the bond, there is still small steps that we could take that are still manageable to make it happen. I don't think nothing is just at least smallly being, smallly being done. I mean, I know money is a, a factor, but it is a lot of different things that, that could be done minimizing the cost of things. Um, and main part is I'm involved in a lot of things. I'm in dual credit, I'm in student council, I'm the Calico dance manager. I, I'm involved with a lot of things. I love being involved and I want other people to be involved. I want freshmen and freshmen are the least people who are involved at the pep rallies or just any event. And they, and I ask why, you know, I ask why. And they just simply say they just don't, they just don't care. And I can't blame them when they come from a school that looks how it looks to a school that isn't, hasn't been fully just remodeled or fully just anything since, fully remodeled or anything since probably it was built 1970. I mean, all the schools around us have at least a little update or a little anything. Of course, kind of high school has nothing. Um, not saying the school itself is just, you know, the worst ever, it's, it's, it's horrible schools, but something needs to be done. I'm a junior, this is not, I'm not probably gonna see the finished product w before I graduate, but I want, the underclassmen and people that are coming up to the school to at least have the opportunity to. So I urge you, the board, to please act on these pressing, is these pressing issues and take the necessary steps to improve the state of our, the current state of our school. Thank you. Then we have Celeste, is it Woolard? All right, so the same three minutes applies to you as well. All right. Hi, I'm Celeste Willard. I am in, well, I am a senior at the CHS. I am in basketball. I've been in there for three years. I've been in soccer for two years. I am in the child guidance class. Uh, I do the pre-K class. Uh, so, I'm going to go a little bit off what she said, but I'm also giving solutions and the problems with it. So, like she said, with the restrooms, it is, it does need to be remodeled. But here's are some solutions to the restrooms and just how the overall school looks. Instead of, we can have, sorry, I'm reading this. We can have, poster boards out in the hallways where kids can be creative and show their creative side instead of it being a mute hallways. Another issue is the environment. We had a lot, we had,
Mm -hmm. uh, oh. So 7% of the students said the environment of the class was horrible. The spacing in the classroom is very small. Kids cannot be able to function in class due to the size of it. It is half of the size of the size that is supposed to be due for the updated version of 2024. I mean, 23. That is it. That is it, I'm sorry. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very much to our two students who came and spoke. Appreciate that. Okay, now we're going to move, go into closed session and we're going to adjourn the meeting and we're going to go into Texas Government Code Section 551.01. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.